If you're a home seller or you're thinking about selling your home soon, I've got something I've got to tell you and you may not want to hear it. My name is Tom Grant and I'm a real estate agent with the principal team at Metro Brokers. First, let's talk about the market. There's something really important happening. Sellers are reducing their asking prices left and right throughout the front range. This is really important to understand and it tells us something about the market overall. Let's take a look at specific cities and see what's happening there. These are just a few of the cities around the front range and you can see Many, many sellers are reducing their prices. I looked at homes for sale right now, and of those homes in Centennial, 40% of them have had their prices reduced. In Highlands Ranch, that number is 42%, and Golden, it's 45%, and in the city of Denver, 47% of sellers have reduced their asking price at least one time. In Littleton, it's 48%. In Aurora, it's also 48%. And in Arvada, 49% of homes have been reduced in price. In Westminster, more than half of the homes for sale right now have been reduced to, in price. That number is 55% in Westminster. Now, according to Zillow, it's normal for about 13% of sellers to reduce their asking price at least once before a home sells. So these are very big numbers. Next, let's look at the median home price and interest rates three years ago in September 2020 and today, September 2023, and compare those and think about what it really takes to buy a home today versus what it cost three years ago. As you can see, prices have increased since September 2020. The median priced home just three years ago in the metro area was $464,000. Today, we don't have September's median home price just yet. We'll know that in about a week or so. But last month, our median sold price was $582,000. Now, three years ago, the typical 30-year fixed interest rate was 3.03%. You could expect to get something around there if you were getting a mortgage in September 2020. Today, uh, interest rates are well over 7%. They were uh, averaging 7.65% according to Mortgage News Daily when I just looked. So mortgage interest rates are much higher than they were and prices are up as well. If we look at monthly payments and let's assume that all of the uh, payments besides the mortgage are the same in 2020 and, and 2023. So the insurance payment is the same, the taxes are the same, and the HOA payment is the same. Back then, three years ago, to purchase that median home cost about $2,399 per month. Today, that same home would cost $4,503 every month. That's a huge increase. It's 88% more expensive to pay for the median priced home each month today than it was just three years ago. Now, we all know incomes have not risen that much. In May, the Department of Housing and Urban Development came out with their estimates for incomes around the country, and HUD estimated that the median income in the Metro Denver area for a family will be $125,000 in 2023. That's about $10,458 every month. If a family making the median family income wanted to buy the median priced home, today 
they would be spending 43% of their income on that monthly payment. Generally, we say homes are affordable if, if uh, someone is spending 28% of their income on housing. So 43% is quite high. Prices in our area are coming down to more affordable levels because of the rise in interest rates. If you're selling your home right now or you're planning to, there's a very good chance you're going to overprice your home. It's important to price your home for what's really happening in the market and to understand that for buyers, the cost of purchasing your home is much more than its price. They've got to contend with these really high interest rates and you need to think about those interest rates too as a seller. If you overprice your home, there's a very good chance it will linger on the market for a very long time and it may never sell at all. Think about it. If you're overpriced on day one, you're priced up here and the market says you really should be priced down here, over time, if you don't change your price and prices are falling, you're even more overpriced. So price right from the very beginning. In fact, maybe take a little risk, and I know it's scary, but price below where you think your home could sell. That way, you know you're not overpriced, you'll drive a ton of interest, and you'll still get multiple offers and you'll be able to pick the very best one that works for you. If you're overpriced, you may get no showings, no offers, or very little interest in your home. Nobody wants to see that. If you have questions, contact me anytime. I'm happy to help. Again, my name is Tom Grant. I'm with the principal team at Metro Brokers. If you want to take a look at our weekly update, click the link in the in the description and read that. If you have questions, again, contact me. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.